everyone, my name is Shalina Smith from Gaga Designs and welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is my second video and I'm going to talk to you about my celebrity client's nursery, Tamara Mari Housley, versus the nursery I just did for the Abrams just two weeks ago on The Real. So with all the buzz surrounding these beautiful nurseries over the last few weeks, I mean even Parent Magazine took notice. On Parent.com they did a great article on how to get a celebrity nursery on a budget. I just figured you guys should hear it from me. You should get the scoop and the 411 from me about these two amazing rooms. Let's begin with the walls. So the base was obviously this beautiful soft pink, something very subtle. And in Tamara's nursery she wanted a custom mural, so I hired my amazing artist, Heidi, and she was able to do a two-tone stripe on the wall and we divided it with a nice metallic uh, stripe. And then in the Abrams nursery, I went with a removable wallpaper and it was just convenient. It's easy to install yourself. It's also removable for those that are living in apartments um, and that might have to change the look later. It's an amazing focal point. So when you're looking for ideas of what to do on that crib wall, go with stripes. Let's talk about bedding, bumpers, and bows. <laughs> What's so great about both of these nurseries are the Brat Decor bows. Um, they really just highlight the crib and they make the nursery so rich. Um, years ago, when bumpers were outlawed in some states, I was devastated. I mean, aesthetically, they are what made the nursery pop it. I mean, you had the bumper trims, the bumper, um, bows that really made the nursery complete and so what I love about this is that we can put safety first and we're able to just put the bows on the outside of the crib and of course in the Abrams nursery I even put the bows on the curtains which really tied it all together. You guys are going to be so surprised to know that in both the celebrity nursery and the makeover nursery I was able to get discounted curtains and discounted nightstands. In Tamara's nursery, I came up with some beautiful silk stripe curtains that I got from Overstock.com. And in the Abrams nursery, I went to Tuesday morning and found some Donna Karen curtains that were under $100. The great find at Tuesday morning and Home Goods were these amazing nightstands that I was able to put in both the nurseries. Let's talk about repurposing. Let's talk about what is it that you have around the house or already in the room that you can incorporate. One of the things I love about Tamara is that she's also very budget conscious. In Tamara's nursery, I had Aiden's furniture that was white and chocolate brown. Well, you know that's too heavy for a little girl's room. So I switched out those chocolate brown knobs and I put some cute little uh, flower pink knobs and I also changed out the changing tray. So initially the changing tray was this dark chocolate brown and I had it refinished with a nice pink that matched the walls and then I glazed it in gold. So. Together, it created a completely different look. One of the main things that people asked me about Tamara Nursery was, where did I get the angel wings from and the crown? Those were purchased from Restoration Hardware Baby. So now I wanna share with you a little bit about the accessories, and I also wanna give you some tips on how you can do it yourself and save some money. So let's talk about DIY. I was able to go and get this can of paint for under $10. I think it's called Rust-Oleum Metallic, and it's a gold. And I was able to find some unfinished angel wings. The great thing about this, you guys, I was able to complete this within 60 seconds. I promise. If you don't believe me, check it out. Did you see how quick I did that? So if I can do it, you can do it. So in the makeover nursery that I did for the Abrams, I was able to take their bookcase that they had and I was able to refinish the back of it with this great like vinyl from DC Fix. I also took the metallic paint and I refinished one of their knobs so that it was no longer just a white bookcase. It became a custom bookcase with a floral backing and a metallic knob. So there you have it, you guys. I hope you were able to walk away with some great tips on how to get a celebrity nursery on a budget or even how to recreate Tamara's nursery. I also want to share more details with you on my blog, which is at gagadesigns.com. Please subscribe. I'm going to be talking about specific paint colors. 
I will share with you how to get that comfy chair that you see in both those nurseries. I'll see you guys in two weeks, but until then, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Shalina Smith and Facebook at Gaga Design, Shalina Smith Interiors. And let's start talking. Interact with me, ask me questions about some of your design projects, and then I can also follow up and answer them here. I'll see you in two weeks. Thanks for watching. We just go in Gaga. They just go and tackle what? We just go and gaga. They just go and tackle what?